Hey, uh, Joe here, or Silver Revolver on the forums. Um, got a question thingy request from Kyle Zan. Um, insight on the yeah, insight on the bass tone. Um, <coughs> I'm using a Reaper. What I've got here is this bass bus, um, where I've basically got two channels. I've got um, if I turn all this shit off, you see what I start with. I usually start with uh, just this tone. Shut up, click. And then, I on my effects, I've got uh, my slate kind of, uh, this thing's so good. <laughs> uh, running through like the equivalent of a Neve. Um, EQ, I've basically taken everything out and then some of the resonances which get too much when I get to mastering. Uh, volume knob, this is a really awesome uh, VST, I don't even know where the hell I got it. Uh, just a random forum, but it just lets you affect stuff without uh, having to move the sliders, because obviously moving sliders can change accuracy of Bullshit and all that stuff, and then more slate compression here. So uh, with those effects on, it's kind of it's very similar. Just you know, obviously more low endy from the aspect of not boosting, but taking highs out. Then the grit. This motherfucker took so long. Um, all right, here's what we got. Uh, I got my slate. Again, just going to the group. TSC 808, uh, just to tighten up. I never usually use this on guitars, it doesn't work, but for bass it actually worked. Um, then TSC X50, straight into um, Kiefer, using the uh, JJBBAE0 thing. Then here, I've basically taken out the low end, so I've got the clean low end from the other bass track coming over here. Taken out the horrible points, and then Left it here, type thing. Um, compressed it. Compression is there, you can just pause it and have a look. Um, essentially, short attack and pretty quick release. Um, mainly because I want it to come in immediately, I don't really want there to be any dynamic, and I don't really want it to be thick or anything like that. Um, volume knob again, just to basically gain staging. So every time you go through something, if you can't affect the gain of it, it's just handy to have a volume knob where you can just like scroll it down. Um, and then this really, really awesome EQ by Waves as well, which you guys should check out. So, essentially, all of those, um, if I run through it real quick, you have this. That affects the low end massively putting that on, but I don't know if you'll be able to make that out across here. So you put these on. So that's how I've built that. Combine it. And then the bus is um getting text messages. Uh more compression and more EQ. And obviously EQ is just gonna be uh same for everyone. By looking at this off the top of my head, similar deal. Pretty low ratio as well. Um so just general, just gluing it again, just... So there you go. It's like most of the tone you hear in this track is actually guitar and bass. So, guitars, you're gonna laugh, these sound so thin. So yeah, this type of And that's the quick run through of that jazz. So there's the camera. Hi. <laughs> so there you go. Um, have a good one. Cheers. Bye.